to Brady Green. He mauled the world's deadliest strikers in cold blood. Followed by a right by Fedor, now throwing combinations. Big Daddy with a couple of blocks. Revolutionized ground and pound. Blood is violent. And wiped out a squad of UFC champions. During an unprecedented decade of dominance, Fedor Emelianenko conquered Pride FC's Royal Division and went down in history as the greatest heavyweight in MMA. Let's recall the brightest moments from the last Emperor's Red Hot Sledgehammer Spectacle. Fedor launched a pro career in 2000 and immediately proved the effectiveness of his combat sambo style in mixed martial arts. By the summer of 2002, Emelianenko's record consisted of seven finishes in ten triumphs. Thus, he was finally summoned to Pride FC. The adversary was Semi Schilt, who would win four K1 Grand Prix in the near future and become the best heavyweight in kickboxing history. He did it against Zimmerman, he did it against Correa, but it's two Nevertheless, Fedor quickly threw Schilt to the canvas and, he got the takedown. and started applying blush on his face. The second round followed the same script. See the timing on that? Yeah, he's got way too much uh, balance. These are good strikes. By getting a lopsided decision victory, Emelianenko entered the title race. Heavy artillery joined the front line next, in the face of Heath Herring, who had recently fought tooth and nail against Rodrigo Nogueira for the inaugural belt. The Texas Crazy Horse was ranked second in the division and considered a menace in all areas. The fight is over. However, he was instantly blown off his feet. The eruption of violence that ensued forever changed the ground striking meta in MMA. But Fedor just cracked him two times. Is, is Harry hurt here? It looked like it looked like he hurt him with that left hook, boss. I think he was Heath could neither escape jumping in and suplexing nor hide from the relentless beatdown on the floor. Oh! Yes. All the way. Oh, he's going for an armbar. The fans were waiting to start collecting the Americans' teeth as souvenirs. Why should he? Uh oh, not, and he's got the choke. He's got it. Oh, no! oh, he Luckily, the doctors intervened and saved what was left of Herring's health. Fedor put on a ground and pound masterclass and was awarded with a well deserved title shot. But Fedor just cracked him. Oh. In March of 2003, the Russian went head to head with Hadriga Nagira. Up to that point, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu ace had held the belt for two years, snatching six submissions in seven victories. Nothing could stop Minotauro, not even pile drivers by the fantastic beast. Bob Sapp, who became another victim of a crazy comeback. Unbelievable. And although the Brazilian's guard was scarier than a snake pit, Fedor turned out to be quite the mongoose. He took Nogueira to the canvas on his own terms and began brutally ramming him into the ring surface. Emilia Nenko got out of multiple dangerous situations and dished out loads of damage. To be fair, Minotauro was not the one to falter when things got rough. He is a threat. 
He's a big time shot. Nogueira's in big trouble here. Big trouble. Big Nog attempted numerous submissions. As good as it is. and secured a sweep. Oh no! No! Howbeit, Fatal reversed the fortunes. Look at this! Whoa! Unbelievable! And continued stress testing Nagira's skull until the final bell. Oh! the submission ability. Oh! Unbelievable! Has taken the title. Ruthless superiority resulted in a landslide decision victory, making the 26-year-old Emilianenko an undisputed champion. They met again in the finale of the 2004 Heavyweight Grand Prix. Along the way, Rodrigo choked out Herring and handed Krokop his first loss. Nagiera stuck to the same submission hunting strategy. Nice roll there. Oh, look at this balance. Emilianenko's balance is unreal. Nogueira, Emilianenko able to escape. Like I said, he escapes the tent before they even put it on. Nogueira. The duel was a repeat of the first encounter for four minutes straight. Right there, delivered by Emilianenko, but now he's cut in a triangle Whoa. position. And they met. Yet an unintentional headbutt resulted in a doctor stoppage. Size and futility. Yep. Right hand by Nogueira and an up kick. Oh. And he's oh he's cut. He's the bout was declared a no contest, and a rematch was scheduled for New Year's Eve. This time, Emilianenko found the silver bullet to neutralize the opponent's strength. He stayed away from the Brazilian's guard. So by what we saw, oh. between the four. Uh, nice dominated the striking realm, oh, swept him off his feet with ease. How he's moving in this fight, you oh, guys. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this, he just... Oh, oh boy. Making adjustments, Randy Couture. Nagira had no answers, and the epoch-making trilogy of the 2000s went to the Russian machine. decision for Fedor. Returning to Pride shortly after capturing the strap, Fedor shared the ring with Kazuyuki Fujita. The Japanese wrestler nicknamed Ironhead really only lost to Krokop. Took the precious zero from the unbeaten Mark Kerr and never shied away from a wild slugfest. Unbelievable! Oh, what a turn! The heart is on the way! Fedor was a massive favorite and started playing with his food from the jump. Four. Oh, there's that right hand lead right there. And Fujita's on his back. Oh, he's a big left. Ooh. To give credit, Fujita could also be the hammer and not just the nail. getting his wits about him and springing back up. Oh. Emilianenko reevaluated the initial approach. Oh. No. Oh. 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 That looks like a box. Oh. He's got the choke. He's, 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 he's got it. It's he's over. Got it. It's over. It's over. It's an incredible fight. By unleashing the bomb in close, Kazuyuki almost pulled off the upset of the century. Fedor retaliated with a flurry and tightened the noose around the neck. And this is where animal instinct and technique meet. As a stay busy, he fought Gary Goodridge, an old school killing machine made of flesh. Texas, the same gym where Again! Woo! Woo! Oh, he's out! Oh, he's out! Oh, stop. 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 They are on their Mano y Mano versus Emilianenko, Big Daddy's only responsibility was picking out the blow to crumble under. But then a right hand lands. A oh, right look at him, look at body down. shots, body Uppercuts shots. The, the massacre lasted 69 seconds of doom. And there's there an example go. of it, right hand, right hand, right hand, to the head, to the head. He is out. It looks like he's down, there it is. There it is. I told you. 
the reigning emperor kicked off 2004 with a scuffle against Mark Coleman. The first ever UFC heavyweight champion and the inaugural Pride Grand Prix winner, the American wrestling dynamo wasted less time striking than pig spent flying. Even Fedor failed to thwart the initial takedown assault. Coleman on top of Emilianenko in the corner. The godfather of ground and pound unleashed the hammers. You always suggested, boss, from the under the arm. But Emilianenko answered with a guillotine. And went on the counteroffensive. The second grappling entanglement was the last for Mark. In their sequel two years later, things went south for Coleman from the word go. The Russian closed the show with an armbar out of respect for the legend. Mark's daughters were in the arena, so Fedor gave the veteran a hand and got one in return. In August of 2005, chomping at the bit was Mirko Filipovich, who had recently shut off Fedor's brother, Alexander. The Croat Cemetery left kick has been thundering in K1 since the 90s. Upon transitioning to MMA, Krokop became the most intimidating knockout artist on the planet. Total control right now. Never heard it left. Some Filipovic was expected to clash against Fedor the previous year. However, Kevin Randleman had something to say about that. With the shot back up to his feet. Oh! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Back. It's over, it's over, it's over. Unbelievable. Emilianenko himself had a comfy ride with Monster Airlines. Coming out victorious in the end, nonetheless. Oh, here we go. There is. Oh. And it's over. As he respects Krokop, and there you The high stakes confrontation began with a hard check. And masterful combination work from the Emperor. By a great left hand by a million ankle. And now he has him on the rope. He is a master in game. Oh, oh nice hit here. Here. Halfway through the opening frame, Fedor made a mistake. So close. Nice left. Yes. Oh, left. Wow, I think that left. Right. And miraculously survived the subsequent kick. Right by Emelianenko. High left kick by Krokop and falls. He took Mirko to the mat and stayed on top till the break. His balance boss, but Emelianenko exploiting the mixed martial arts at its best. In the second, the Croatian sensation was an open book. Oh, look at that. Look at this is right too. Mirko Krokop. You know the corner from Fedor. Krokop kept eating strikes. Oh, nice right straight. And again, a body shot. Nice! Left. And sporadically exploding in response. Training. Look at this. Be that as it may, the last emperor couldn't finish peak Mirko. Looking for the takedown and back to the ground. The battle of the decade witnessed live by 35,000 people became an instant martial arts classic. On December 31st, 2005, the generously built Brazilian Zuluzinho was waiting for Milianenko under the tree. The gift wrapping was ripped off his chin in half a minute. Yeah, I gotta tell you, we're not taking it away from Oh my gosh, that's it! Oh no! Oh no! Square right on the chin. Not for Emilianenko, an absolute machine. A barrage. That's it, that's it. Shooter Emilianenko sends a The fight lasted mere seconds, but the highlight is still breaking records. Oh my God! 
Exactly one year later, Mark Hunt was tasked with putting out the sparklers in Fedor's eyes. After an easy takedown, Hunt and Fedor can handle both arms, trying to break nice. down and done. The Russian attempted an arm bar to no avail. Oh, he missed the head! Mark grabbed an unexpected Americana. No, no, this can't happen. Oh my gosh! That's when the Super Samoans' ambitions crashed into the limits of reality. It's all over. It's all over. It's all over. With the collapse of the Japanese organization in 2007, the last Pride Emperor did not abandon the New Year's tradition of beating big boys. The infinitely tall Korean, Hong Man Choi, sacrificed his arm for the culture. In 2008, Emelianenko signed with an American promotion, Affliction. In his debut, Fedor tanked the career of Tim Sylvia, who fought for the UFC belt five months previous. Oh, nice. Shark Lesnar by oh. Oh, 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 no. oh, no. Tim was Donzo in 36 seconds. Tim Sylvia, but he's got that he chopped it! The newly minted title went to Stari Askol, and in January of 2009, the former UFC king, Andrei Arlovsky, was brought in to challenge for it. The Belarusian had recently left the UFC in pursuit of a big fat check, and was on a run of five straight victories with four knockouts. Inside leg kick, right hand, oh goodness, big right hand! Hey. The prologue was tense for both athletes. And it's a good strategy. And as soon as Andre felt like he had found the groove, lying stiff on the floor and staring into the void, poor Arlovsky had no idea what his chin would go through in the years to come. Unable to come to terms with the UFC, Fedor moved to Strike Force on a 27-fight unbeaten streak. In November, he was welcomed by a tire fitter slash MMA practitioner Brett Rogers. The American's unblemished record consisted of 10 knockout wins, including a big upset over Arlovsky. In his first performance in the cage, Emelianenko immediately went ham. Left hand. It connects. He throws Rogers down. Or tries to. Single. Right in the nose area. Cut it. Look at those feet. There it is. Look at Fedor. But having damaged Fedor's nose. Wild left hand by Fedor. That jab of Rogers. Rogers finished the opening lap on a high note. Getting hurt here. Fatal, In the second, Brett incorporated cage wrestling, something alien for the Russian. Rogers attacking now. Moving to the center, however, was a huge mistake. Rogers wanted to play Russian roulette by striking with Fedor, and he got the bullet. Hit from the Cabrini Green. Meanwhile, for the first time ever, the aging champion didn't look like the last emperor of pride, which would become apparent against Fabricio Verdun. Rushing for a finish, Emelianenko dove into a deadly triangle. From that moment on, Fedor would lose his mojo for a while and fall short in two subsequent appearances. With retirement on the horizon, Emelianenko made a comeback on home soil versus a special guest, Jeff Monson. In October of 2011, the American dubbed Snowman was being melted for 15 minutes. A 
month later, the once promising Satoshi Ishii was blown out of the water. Trying to measure with his right, and again, Fader drops it! The big Finally, in June 2012, an old school vet, Pedro Hizo, joined the club. Following a brief feeling out process, the Brazilian received a special quota for a head scan. The grand send-off concluded with a blitzing overhand, and 35-year-old Emilianenko left the ring on a high note. Despite being set for life, three and a half years later, in 2015, Fedor surprisingly returned with a demolition of a little-known opponent. Then he signed with Bellator, and in a span of five years, crushed Chael Sonnen. Former UFC champion Frank Mir. And a seemingly pregnant Rampage. Nevertheless, Emilianenko also found himself on the receiving end of a KO a couple of times. Big shot! For sure. Oh! They both double knocked down! Fedor Emilianenko turned and just like Dan Henderson did it's over! It's over! In October of 2021, the golden ticket went to Timothy Johnson, who had previously produced a knockout of the year candidate. and folded Matt Mitrione up against the fence. Headlining the first Bellator event in Russia, Fedor entered exchanges. Connected with a counter left, and then launched a lethal burst. Landing a three-punch combo with blistering speed, the 45-year-old Emilianenko made the old-school fans shed a tear of nostalgia. <laughs> Fedor has always been taciturn and used two hefty fists to do the talking. But Fedor just cracked him two times. Blood and violence. He has never fought in the UFC, but during his career beat a squad of the Ultimate Promotion Champions. Emelianenko's final bout will be for the Bellator title. Regardless of the outcome, The Last Emperor is set in stone in the history of martial arts. How he's moving in this fight. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Oh. 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 oh, look at that. Look at this. Is If you enjoyed the video, ground and pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, and vote for sport.